Many within the castle praise your bold deeds of late. I pray such good works continue apace. I have more tasks that require your attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. I had a task I wished entrusted to you, sir. But Sir Mercedes insisted it be hers instead. She was most adamant. Though she is a knight come in good faith to aid us, she remains daughter to Hearthstone's lord. It does my heart no ease to see her undertake such a dangerous errand. Alas, in the face of her ardent petition, there was naught I could do but accede. Can I ask that you at least accompany her, sir? She must be kept safe. My thanks, Arisen. Pray go and speak to Sir Mercedes. I take it you've heard. Then you'll know that this task is mine. I'll not be an idle burden on the Duke's hospitality any longer. And surely you've won enough glory, sir. Allow me this one chance to approve myself. You have my thanks. This matter concerns Lord Julian as well. There is talk of dark happenings at the Stone of the North. Lord Julian's watch. He set out for the hold himself some time ago. But there has been no word since. Someone must go and see what is become of him. As a fellow guest of the Duke's, I felt it my duty. I would forbid you from interceding, but you no doubt have your own reasons for going. I will not stop you from joining me, but neither can I wait. Follow if you wish, sir. I am off. The Stone of the North is not so far from the capital. I'll guide you. Well met, sir.
Colluded with Salvation to work sedition among the Duke's men! Salvation? You place me in ill company. I'm a man of this world. Fantasies of death and redemption concern me not one whit. Now legends. Legends stoke up the masses. If Duke Edmund were to best a second dragon, Francis would take the Ascendant. But her neighbors ill want the giant looming at their borders, am I wrong? Spare me your sophistry. The word neighbor sours on your forky tongue. Our lands have long sworn unstintingly to any neighbor beside but the dragon. <laughs> Unstinting, you say? Tell me then. Why has your Lord Father not sent your brother, joined by Hearthstone's finest steel? Why am I speaking instead with a bleating she-goat mocked even by her own men? You will retract those words, sir! Else suffer what consequence? Else I shall wash my honor clean in your blood! And you? You will play her second? I would welcome the challenge. Stay out of this! He's made an open mockery of me and my homeland! I had thought the trust ah. you were about the base treasons of salvation's light. The knight's oh. champion. An oathbreaker of your ilk is champion to no man, Julian. Uh. 
You owe the Arisen a debt of thanks, woman. Your she-god's pride is lost, but you've kept your head. I must make a pitiable sight. I knew. I am a meager choice to send us aid. I know it well. Still, I... I could not! I must make a pit I knew, still. I fear I put on a shameful display. Lord Julian had the truth of it, every word. I am weak. I serve no purpose here. Save as hollow homage to an empty pact, aid in name only. Hearthstone or Grancis, there's not a man in either who expected anything else of me. I knew it well enough, tasted it on every breath I drew, yet still I fancied myself a knight. A reason. I will return to Hearthstone, not to lick my wounds but to petition my Lord Father that grants his people receive true aid. I will not send you to meet the dragon with their fates weighing upon you. After, I shall return here to aid you however I may. I am a fool. Pray, accept this token. I haven't much to give, but it would please me to know it provided you some small comfort on your journey. I cannot hope until... Stone of the North stands quiet once again. 
You have my thanks. It was an ill surprise indeed to find salvation's reach extend so deep within our ranks. It is a testament to the rising fear within the people's hearts. We must be vigilant against such corruption, lest the duchy rot away before the dragon ever comes. What? Very well. I shall see to it at once. A matter of a most pressing nature has come to us. Make for the southern Waycastle immediately. I've received a report that one of the Duke's men has returned from afar, gravely wounded. He asks to speak with you, in all haste, Arisen. Tis odd his message was not writ in the report. An oversight brought on by haste, no doubt. Pray, fly to the Waycastle and hear the man's message, sir. Meanwhile, I am to see the Duke on another matter no less urgent. Tis a restless day. <laughs>